Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Macclesfield Tanker Remote. I'm sorry it's been so long since I last played this, but I have experienced some technical difficulties. But now we are back. You need not fear. So today we've got a lot of games, a couple of games actually. Uh, Castro's loan move has been rejected. So I'm going to send against Fleetwood, play against Doncaster and Oxford, hopefully get wins in that. Play against MK Dons, Sim against Bolton and Rotherham, and then we have Manchester United next episode in the Carabao Cup. It's going to be incredible if we manage to actually beat Man United. It's Fleetwood against Macclesfield, and it's 3 0. Esposito with 2 and Viviani with 1. So, we have done very well. Why am I 69 rated? Final scout report on Jean Cordova. Wuhan Zol want to take Castro on a one year loan. I suppose that is. Michelle Acosta's been loaned out. Um, I suppose Wuhan Zol is a club in Japan. Right, we're just going to have a quick look at Cordova, although I'm sure he's far too good for me. I think he is far too good for me. So let's just have a little scroll through. Illichich just gone, Gomez, Danda, Enquaro, Bogato, Soler, Camacho, Bastoni, James Shackleton, because I still Amos, Silvermeyer, Ihata and Dallo, Bonifazzi, Petzella, Christian and Kulu, Bakayoko. I can get Vardy on a free sometime this season. Sapinara, Edra, Bonazzoli, Pedrena Mendes, Tavares, Silva Tavares, Hansch, Dalmera, Nunes, who I saw alongside. I can't. Matthias Arujo, who I can't sign either. Kotsa, my Guardo, Duricic, Sirigu, Cordova, yes, 79. So he's far too well rated. Um, we've got Caicedo, Mitrovic, uh, Lopez. We have still got Karamoko Dembele um, on our list. Krunic, Pedri, Saliba, Lewis, Sikan, Pellegrini. Pellegrini is, I think that's a loan from Russia. Storaro forms a dream yard, Awoyini, Smith Rowe, Consilier, Armini. I could try and sign Armini, I think he's too highly rated. Pavar, Vidal, Crespo Kuchayev, Olienka, Olienka, Sarachi, Fatty, Dembele, yeah, Reina, Kumbula, Russo, Musso, Lato, Lang. And there we go, right the way around. So, a lot of players on the transfer list there, but nobody we can really sign. It doesn't look as if we're going to be signing anybody else this season. Right, we now have... Oh, I was a little bit bad, actually, assuming it's Fleetwood, because they're in fifth. They would have been in fourth, actually, when I, play, when I played against them. So, I heard against Doncaster now. I do not have fond memories of the game against Doncaster, if I remember rightly. If I remember, uh, then I think they were a hard team to play against last season. I think they took points off us. That's never nice to see. Kelleher goes, yeah. Uh, Scott Sorella can play. Oh no, Joao Virginia's out. Who's in? Oh my god, Petal's on there, he's in goal. Petal's on there, he's in goal. I don't believe it. Petar's on it, is in goal. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Petar's on it, is in goal. Right, we're likely to concede a whole load of goals in this game because I've actually put Petar on it, I'm such an idiot. He's a proper So, now, I seriously hope that Doncaster don't pose a massive attacking threat because if they do, then we are easily going to be beaten because they... A special thing. We've had to put Zahn in goal, I can't believe it. And we get into the game. Macclesfield against Doncaster. That's a good training issue, right? Yeah, but still. No, there is that, of course. That's the mess. White man. James. The, the whole, Welcome like, by Charpentier. Yeah. Like, Scott Sorella makes the run through the middle. Esposito makes his run. 
inside to Scott around on what to say from Lola. Great play from Macclesfield. Unlucky, <laughs> unlucky lads, come on. Up towards Fiacre, heads is down. Headed away from Esposito. Scott Sorella going back up to Silva, heading that down. Gorthia going in for it, getting the ball back, and Sharpentia through the middle scores. And Macclesfield lead Doncaster. I don't know why I'm sitting in the goal. Macclesfield Town lead Doncaster by one goal to nil in the sixth minute, and Simon Sharpentia has scored. Getting into league, getting into the championship next season is massive for us. Gives us lots more money. I don't. I've I've stressed this frequently, but it just is so important. Sadly, up. Parral with the tackle. Sadly, up. Falls off. Comes off the back of Scott Sorella for some reason. And his Charpentier towards Osposito. Digs it out of his feet into Charpentier. Looking to hold the defender off. Can't do so. And here's Sadlia. Looking to step away from Viviani. Who wins the ball back. Sadlia again. Into James. Eyesfield. Onik Bire. Great save from Petar's on him. Squats, wall ball top the rosters. Oh, headed into the back of the net. And Doncaster have equalised. Halliday with the goal. I thought, thought, Why have I, I turned back the other way? Here's Whiteman. Taylor. Back to Whiteman. Back to Taylor. Doncaster playing well on a career. Oh, fantastic ball from Doncaster to Halliday, who drives in the cross. Simon gets it. Goldfield walks through the back of Corral. Viviani plays it further to Scott Sorella. Who looks to hold off the defender and Peral can get his legs onto it. Oh yes. Good shot from Esposito. Good shot. Good shot from Charpentier. Easy finish from Esposito. Really easy that was. Incredibly easy to score. And it just ends up in the back of the net. Well played. Ah, the sweet taste of being able to win again. The sweet taste of being back to this Macclesfield team. Like, I was experiencing technical difficulties, but I didn't overwrite this save or play any more games in it because I didn't want to disrespect the players. Didn't want to disrespect the players and didn't want to disrespect you. Because, um, I thought if somehow I managed to be able to play with this team again, then I wouldn't, just just in case if I did manage to be able to do that, I wouldn't do it just yet. Esposito makes the run through the middle. Happy with that. Happy with that, bad boys. Kelleher. Do a job, Presses Onik Biro, who plays really well. Gorthia's right the way out. Icefield. Onik Bure. Kelleher cleans it out to Gorthia. Scott Sorella into Esposito. Wagner makes the run through the middle. Next season I'm going to invest in a new left back and a new centre half and some new players in there. Like I might invest in a new right winger. It just depends if Mar just depends if Martin Pardo plays well enough for us. Taylor. Gomez. Loses out. Macclesfield play it forward. Charpentier. Esposito puts it wide of the mark. Decent effort, decent shot. Testing, stability, durability, traction. These are testing for now. Now Doncaster come forward again. Fantastic play from Doncaster. Sonic Bure tries to play the pass. Gorthia cuts it out. Viviani. Oh, fantastic defending. 
from Mattia Viviani. Brilliant tackle, I need to see that again. What a tackle from Mattia Viviani. Towards Gorthia. In another era, he would have completely lost that. Look at that! Brilliant tackle. It should be 2 1 to us at half time. Yep, it is. saves in goal for us. It's incredible how he managed to do that. Um, Pardo is going to play for Scott Sorella and I think I will bring Lino Lang on for the partner. central defensive midfielder. Here's Lino Lang taking it away from them. Kulavaldi has played the pass into Charpentier who lets it run across his body. The other defender gets across him. I should have just switched the pace on. The other defender would have got across if I'd done that though. Kulavaldi. Ferrier is going to chase Taylor. Taylor to Fraser. There's lots of names that you could associate with, um, lots of, um, um, uh, just completely scratch off that thought. Here's Ferrier. Oh, could have made it four. Should have passed it to Esposito. Didn't want to though, I thought Ferrier had a good shot on him. Yes! It's one back. One low. 
squares it right the way through to Martin Pardo. Viviani wins it. Now Doncaster could come forward to see what they can do. And it's oh, Odic Bure. You tried to chip that over Lloyd Gorthia's head. You tried to chip that over my big French centre back. You were not doing that any day of the week. Yeah, mate, you need to learn that you can't chip it over Lloyd Gorthia's head. Doncaster! What a goal! Looped over Zornev and Zoncaster have a goal. The, the reason I can, I've conceded these goals is just because. I mean, Virginia would have easily had that. I didn't check how long he was out for, so I will have to do that in a bit. Halliday wins it back. It's a 3 2 victory. It is a good win, but I'm a bit sad that um, Virginia is out and I don't know how long for. So hopefully he's not out for very long at all. Right. How long is Joao Virginia out for? Seven days. Oh, thank you, God. I I do not have to lose Joao Virginia for very long. If he's not back for simulations, though, for the simulation against um, Oxford, then is he back? He's back. Monthly scouting report from Elliot Richardson. Eighty. 79 he can go, 763 he can go, 74 he can go, 71 he can go, 84 keep him, he can go, he can go, he can stay, have I got any more good hit? I think I can let Stephanie Belcourt go. Um, um, don't know who I let go and who I put. I'll put Felix Cordoba in for a first team. Javier Quiroga, he can go in the first team any day of the week. Mario Ortiz, oh he looks brilliant as well. Hernan Fuentes can go, Navarrete can go, Lucero can go. Um, all those players can stay. Let's have a look at this last Argentinian player that I had before. Argentinian? Argentine. Javier Quiroga. Was it him? Alright, I can't see who which one he is. So Oxford United against Macclesfield is probably a draw from this. I don't expect to win. But I did! Viviani scores again. I'm very, very happy with that. Matteo Viviani with another goal for us, which is always nice to see. Round two of the Emirates FA Cup. What did that say before? Who will be 2021's player of the year? No, there was something else. Breaking news. EFL League One Player of the Month shortlist. These four. I'd love it if Esposito won Player of the Month. Well, he probably wouldn't. Last year, I think we ran all the way to round four of the cup. This year, we're looking to run even further. And we might even be on track to win the Carabao Cup if we beat Manchester United. Although it's not likely that we're going to beat Man United. But just imagine that. I don't know whether it's home or away, so I'll be sure to check that in a bit. I'm going to have a quick check on Federico Gallo at some point to check that he is... Um, to check how he's doing on, on Learn It To Lose. I mean, it should really be Ferrier on Learn It To Lose. I thought I'd give him a season... I thought I'd give him a season to play though, and Gaio, if he can grow, I bet he's like a 72 or a 73 right now, and that would be great for us. Right. Shotguns, he has got 82 short 
passing 90, whatever that other one was. That's incredible. Right. Come on. The Dons. I think that's their name, is it? The Dons? Or is that Aberdeen? I think it might be Aberdeen. <laughs> I really do that. Charpentier, Wagner Mauro, in towards Pierre Ferrier. Norrington Davis to Reeves, Agard. Gorthia powers his way through the defenders and now Scott Sorella turns away from the defenders and was pushed into the corner. I wanted that to go to Esposito, I didn't really want that to go to Wagner Mauro. Hewton, Watson, Reeves, Numb, Agard. Peral takes it away from him, Kelleher stabs it a bit further. Wagner Mauro can play it into Charpentier. I wanted the pass the other way, did not want the pass to go to us. I wanted the pass to go to Esposito. Viviani wins it back. I think he's really developed under us, Matteo Viviani. I feel like he's one of the most complete players in the squad now. Numb. Watson. Oh, good tackle. Pierre Ferrier, move it on. Oh, Wagner Mauro. Cuter. Watson. Nom, Agard, good tackle, Chopentia tries to get that, here's Williams to Britain, I will, next season, I will definitely ha um, go looking for some for some uh, left backs and that I will sh pre-shortlist some of them and Ferrier doesn't get there no I think that was Wagner Mauro it was Wagner Mauro oh god running through our team Britain to Nomb Britain gets it back for MK Dons I would hate to go out at this stage of the cup because we we're only in the second round and I'd hate to go out like this because our team's so well developed. That's a foul, isn't it? Ah, oh, I thought I got the ball first. Hewson. Boateng. Rubes. Agard. Wagner Mauro. Scott Sorella. Charpentier, Matteo, ah, oh, just been shoved off it by Reeves, Agard goes up for it, but Peral's beaten him to it, Viviani, yet again, works incredibly well for us, and Esposito plays that pass through, Matteo Scottsarella into Esposito, but he was offside. That was unlucky, guys. That was really good play. Unlucky. Oh, Agard. Looking to chase that. Scott Sorella into Peral. I'm so happy that I've got Joel Virginia back now because if I didn't have him back for this game, I guarantee you I would have already conceded to MK Dons. And here's Scott Sorella on the byline. You've got nobody to cross it to in the middle. Actually, he has! Sebastian scores! That might be the headline. I scored from a header. I scored from a cross. Scott Sorella with the cross. Sebastian with the goal. Great goal from Macclesfield. Joao Virginia returns to Finland. I mean, look at this cross from Scott Sorella. It's a great ball in. Esposito goes for the defender, misses it. Esposito doesn't. 1 0. I can't wait to play against Manchester United next episode, though. That will definitely 
be a special, that will certainly be a special for us, because it'll be a special moment. Both Manchester clubs, imagine we beat them, we will have beaten both Manchester clubs in the Carabao Cup as a League One side. It'll just be incredible. Obviously, we look to win every single game or get something from every single game. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Fuentes a game. Yeah, I'm gonna give Fuentes a game for the second half. Almost every player that I have on my bench is at least 60 rated, which is great for Macclesfield because. I think they had somebody, I think in FIFA 19 they had someone that was like 42 rated or something. I don't mean in the youth squad, I mean in the first team. MK Dons breaking forwards and the shot deflected off Koulibaly. And against the crossbar. You, I want to see this, I, I almost never see this happen in FIFA. MK Dons come forward, he makes the run through the middle. The shot is deflected off Koulibaly and hits the crossbar. That is incredible how that has managed to happen. I've never seen a shot that's deflected hit the crossbar like that. Never seen one that's deflected go in, to be honest. Well, I've seen other YouTubers do it, but I've never really done it before. Simon makes his run. As Sebastian makes his. And now, MK Dons come back for us. They've given us a good game ah, for the first nine minutes of the second half they have. Oh, Fuentes hit it! Oh, I should have gone a bit further forward, but I really wanted Fuentes to hit that. I thought he could do quite well in that sort of position. I don't think we'll be losing it now, although we might, because we, we are never sure that we're going to win a game unless we're two or three goals to the good. And even then we can throw it away. Ferrier! It's a poor shot. It wasn't straight up more, but it was an easy save for um, Britain. Watson. Britain. To Watson. Nomb, Britain. They run down the line now and Lloyd goes up there. Fuentes controls it, brings it down. Oh, Watson, Britain, Hewton, Agard. Agard's making his run again. I'm being very, I'm looking to be very cautious of that. Got it away. Pierre trying to get back in that. Hewton. Watson. Agard. Good save from Virginia. Pierre Ferrier. Into Esposito and now Pierre Ferrier has played it out to one low. Unnecessarily turned Britain as he went in for it. Here's Watson. I was about to say I don't want that ball to go out there to Britain, but it just went straight out to Britain. Yes, and Kelleher. I needed him to make that tackle, because otherwise they were going to have quite a good chance, actually. Britain. Into Williams. Hewton. Gladwin. Viviani wins it back in Kula Bali now. Gladwin. Hewton, Kasumu, Gladwin, Britain, and towards Nom, who was offside. I realised that he was, which is why I didn't try to block it, but normally I would have tried to block that. I 
that would have been an MK Don's equaliser if it wasn't offside. Boateng. I don't think it's Ken Prince Boateng. It's not Ken Prince Boateng. Because it's, it's H Boateng. What is Boateng's shirt number? Is it just Prince Boateng? Or is it Prince? I think it's just Prince. Is it just Prince? I don't know. What I do know is that I love playing with this team and that's good play. Ah, Getting into the 88th minute now. One low wins it back. Sebastian into Fuentes, into Sebastian who hits the shot and it's wide. That's all, re that's all really I needed, that shot from Sebastian because it winds down the clock yet further. Viviani, please don't lose this, well played. Fuentes. Fuentes! Straight into Esposito, who tries to head it down. One low wins the header. Ferrier turns it round the corner and we're into the third round of the FA Cup. For what might be a third season in the row. Is it a third season in a row? I think it might be a third. Third season in a row, Macclesfield Town make the third round of the cup. I'm very happy with this victory. And it is great that we managed to do this. Ah, the area semi final against Bolton. Now, oh, please. I, I really want to win this because then I make the final. I am going to simulate against Bolton because I don't know how good they are. I beat them earlier on the first season, second season, sorry, but oh, I am going to simulate this because I want to be able to play Man United very soon. Simulate Macclesfield against Bolton. Are we in the area final? Yes, we are! Esposito, Pierre Ferrier, and one low Koulibaly with a goal. Gorfia pulls up with a little injury, but hopefully it's not too bad. And we are into the area final. Who have we got? I don't know. Is it Hull? It's Hull. In a couple of months, we have got Hull which I'm going to be very happy for, very happy. Match rescheduled, I don't know when that is. Martin Pardo's demands, what are Martin Pardo's demands? Spit it out. Regarding his playtime, we don't like discontent. Try to give him a chance to play every once in a while. Martin? Yeah, I will. I will have a look at offer soon. Gaia is still only 68 rated. I think that's a bit poor, actually, that you haven't managed to grow very much at Toulouse. Well, I mean, it'll be a hard, it's going to be a hard one to adapt to going to Toulouse. Macclesfield gets Rotherham. 3-2! Just about one. Gorfia, Viviani and Ferrier with goals. I, I think Viviani's going to stack up his goal. Stack, stack up his goal tally after a while. Now that is what I want to see. Manchester United against Macclesfield. Town. Now we're going to have a quick look at the objectives and then we are going to end the episode. EFL League 1 gain automatic promotion, get to the F third, fourth round of the FA Cup, um, grow to use, sign three players in your youth academy to the defender position, increase season to its own. Well, what is critical priority? Critical priority. Very low priority, financial. Right, so I don't know why we're not happy with the fan. The fans aren't happy with us. I'm going to have a quick look at the job offers, then we're going to end the episode there. Rangers! Rangers want us. So do so Celtic, so do Aberdeen. And so do every other club in League One. <laughs> right, thank you for watching. I'll see you later and goodbye.